midlife crisis looks like. Take five. Sometimes it just doesn't work out right. Look at my hair. Oh my gosh. Okay, so over this past weekend, my friend from Deltona came over for the weekend. Uh, my aunt and uncle, they were gone for the weekend, so he came over to keep me company. And he has never hung out on this side of Florida. So he came over to check it out. So we were hanging up at the docks and we went down to the beach and we were just kind of like all over. And it was a great time. It was so cool. Um, and then we shipped him off back on Sunday. Oh my gosh. So this was the first train trip he's ever taken. He was excited about getting on a train. He's always wanted to get on a train. Now he jumps on planes and flies all the time. He was really excited about getting a ride on a train for the first time. So his train was scheduled to leave over there where he was at to come this way and that train got delayed by five hours, like five or five and a half hours. He got a phone call from Amtrak telling him that it was delayed and uh, because somebody threw themselves in front of the train. Yeah, suicide. So he got put off. So finally, five and a half hours later, he gets on the train and he comes over here and I guess it wasn't a bad ride. So I swing down to the station and picked him up. It's great to have your old friends come and visit with you and most of them live in Florida. My old friends, they all came down here a long time ago. So now Sunday I go drop him back off to the station because he's going to take his trip back home and uh, I guess they were on the train 10-15 minutes and I had to stop. Why? Because somebody threw themselves in front of the train! Again! I mean, I'm not laughing about that whole situation, but this poor guy has never been on a train before. He's really, really looking forward to it. He's got a train delayed five and a half hours coming one way because somebody threw themselves in front of the train. And then now on his way back, the train stops for eight and a half hours. Eight and a half hours later, they started up again on their way back because somebody threw themselves in front of the train. I was like, what is this, jump in front of a train week? Both ways. Statistically speaking, this should not happen to anybody ever. So, I felt so bad for him. That was unreal. And I feel so bad for the families of these people that threw themselves in front of the train, the families and, the, and their friends. And if any of them ever get to watch this video, my heart really goes out to you. I'm sorry you had to go through that. And all the people on the train who have all like missed work because trains were running so late. Nuts, you can't make this shit up. Okay, so we got him back there Sunday and then Monday morning I got up. First thing I did, you know, well grab coffee is the first thing I did. And then I jumped right on the computer. Um, I was going to work on a resume for a different type of a position. And um, I just, uh, I went on indeed.com and just started pumping out resumes. Got out 19 of them. Uh, there was like five or six of them that also included having to do assessment tests, which I did and passed them all. So 19 in one day. I'm not kidding. I need to generate an income so I can get other things going. So uh, Tuesday, I got a couple of phone calls for interviews. Yay! So I've been doing interviews for the last couple of days. Um, some of them feel really, really good. But I'm not going to go by any of that because some of the other ones felt good that I did before and those uh, came to no fruition at all. But as I said before, I'm not really concerned. I know I'll get something and I know it will be on time. It'll be before I run out of money because that's just how life works for me. So, um, so there's that. Yeah, the, the train problems, the weekend with the friend, uh, putting out resumes, getting phone calls, and that's where I'm at right now. Like how I'm feeling, I, I sometimes I feel really bored. Uh, but I've got lots of things to do when I'm bored, but there are some times where I'm feeling pretty bored and yeah That was a, a an issue back in New York, but it's not so much here Most of the time though I feel really excited about life and I re feel really excited about this new journey that I jumped on I know nothing um, And not doing a whole lot of research for a whole lot of things when you consider that I announced that I was leaving New York well decided that I was leaving New York and was out of there 28 days later um, and I did absolutely no research. Once I decided I was going to come to Florida, I did no research into Florida. 
Uh, so I was pretty surprised when I got here and I'm learning that minimum wage is dollars less than it is in New York um, for like all job types and yeah pay is like much less here much lower why it costs so much more to live here you know the big thing is like oh well, we don't have any state taxes well yeah but your homeowner insurance is three times what it costs in New York three times the water bill is four times what it costs in New York I almost fell over when I have heard people tell me how much their water bill was holy cow I mean the rents are like an average of fourteen hundred dollars a month and minimum wage is like eight bucks uh, Wow no wonder there's more homeless people here in Florida than there is in probably any other state Oh, plus it's very warm. If you're going to be homeless, you might as well do it where it's warm. All right, um, so that's it. This, um, catch you up in another few days. See if anything happens in regards to these uh, interviews.